The fight against devastating wildfires now entering a new frontier. We were given exclusive access to this new tech ahead of the launch of a first of its kind fire satellite. This is the premier journey of FireSat, a Google research-led initiative aimed to launch a constellation of satellites into Earth's orbit. Eventually, expected by 2030, more than 50 will join together, all with the sole purpose of monitoring wildfires, so crews on the ground can shut them down well before they spread. This is kind of the center of the beating heart of our operations. Johnny Dyer is the CEO of Muon Space, the company at the helm of FireSat's launch and viability during orbit. So today there's a set of satellites that are used for fire. None of them were designed for fire. Currently, on a big fire, agencies will sometimes use a series of weather satellites for basic mapping. But Dyer says the images are low quality and slow. And a lot of these satellites are 20, 30, 40 years old, so the technology is quite old. Old images are able to show fires burning as small as about a football field, with a frequency of about once or twice per day. This is um, simulated data for a wildfire propagating across the landscapes. The team here says this new family of satellites only focuses on fire and can see an area burning as small as a home's swimming pool, producing a new high-resolution image every 20 minutes. And the constellation has the capacity to cover all corners of the globe. You can do a lot more when a fire is small than once it's gotten large and out of control. Investing and funding the project in collaboration with the global nonprofit Earth Fire Alliance, Google believes that with its increased range, depth and fidelity, this launch can usher in a new era of fire data. What are we seeing here? You can see that we can see through most of the smoke and you can also kind of pick out exactly where the fires are. Chris Van Arsdale is a climate researcher for Google something that historically would have taken people you know, minutes to look at into something that takes milliseconds on a computer. He says a big part of the operation, artificial intelligence, with more data being collected at a higher rate, will be able to know more about the size, spread, and pattern of a fire much faster. Finding fires really becomes a problem of finding a needle in a haystack, except in this case, the haystack is the size of the whole earth, right? It's a tool firefighters say they could put to real use, especially in the early hours of some of California's most horrific wind-driven fires that started too small to identify with current tech. It's always been what we call the holy grail in firefighting, which is where am I as a firefighter and where is the fire? Very few know better than Kate Dargan Marquess, the former fire marshal of California, now an advisor on the project, has raced to some of the worst fires in the state's history. It is going to improve our ability to fight fire better. She believes that the new tech isn't only about suppression or putting out the fires, but mitigation, preventing conditions that lead to fires before they have a chance to breathe. What does that data do for a boots on the ground firefighter. Having that real time information in front of you is going to speed the critical decisions. That's why it's going to save lives. Steve Patterson is joining us now. And Steve, as promising as this technology could be, it's also still pretty early days, right? Very early days. You're talking about one satellite out of more than 50 that will eventually launch. But one of the questions we asked, and really the impetus for launching this story, was to ask, is there a chance that this technology would prevent the level of devastation that we saw in like the L.A. fires, the fires that are currently burning in Texas? And again, while it is too early, that is certainly the goal with this new level of, of information, reduce the factors that lead to these devastating wildfires. Certainly a step in the right direction. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.